Hey boys and girls, I'm Rhino. Welcome to Le Chef Passu. Today we're doing a sunny side up egg. It's one of my favorite things to eat because you can have it breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and you put it on top of sauteed vegetables. You may see it at a diner, they usually serve it on a skillet, and sometimes they really overcook it when I say sunny side up. Mm -mm. See, what you want to happen is when you cut into the yolk, it will spill all over, and it's delicious and amazing and really easy to do. So that's what we're gonna do today because we are all about efficiency. After all, this is refined cooking for lazy people and we wanna cook something delicious and amazing and then go sit on the couch for a long time. All right, in order to make this happen, you're gonna to wanna to make a saute. That's what you're gonna put your egg onto. I will be using spinach and a Japanese eggplant. No, it's not a mini eggplant that I somehow picked up the wrong eggplant, got gypped on the eggplant. The Japanese ones are supposed to be little. Uh, they're usually white and purple striped, but this one is all purple. And I figure, hey, why not? You will want to cut up your eggplant. I recommend half moons. That'll be easiest to eat. And then I'm using corn. This is chicken tenders by the corn brand. It's basically mushroom. It's a micro protein fungi, very high in protein, very delicious. And it's very difficult to find a fake meat whose main ingredient is not wheat gluten. So thank you for that corn brand. Olive oil. So we're gonna saute the corn first because it's frozen. I'm putting in about half a cup. I'm gonna put the lid on it to allow for the steam to assist in the cooking. Once I hear it sizzle, I know it's hot enough. Then we'll add in the eggplant because that needs the longest time in the oil for the unfrozen products. I'm using the whole eggplant except for top and bottom piece. And then we'll put in the spinach because that's gonna cook up the fastest. That is about one cup of spinach. You can also use a zucchini a bell pepper, there's lots of different things. Throw in some shiitake mushroom. It's stuff that will complement the egg. It starts to feel like it's getting really dry. More olive oil. Turn the heat off and let it steam for a few seconds. I usually wait until it stops sizzling because I want to make sure that the eggplant is not too tough to eat. Speaking of, you'll need an egg. This is one egg. It's a large brown egg. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat one egg right now. Usually I'll eat up to two. I don't need more than two eggs because <laughs> it's a lot of food on its own. Very, very low heat. Very, very little olive oil. So you're gonna put the egg into the pan at a low temperature, put the lid on top of it, and let the steam cook the top of the egg while you're cooking the bottom. It should create a solid state. If the top film above the yolk turns white, you may have overcooked it. So be careful not to cook it too much. It's going to cook rather quickly, um, but once you get the hang of it, you'll start to figure out exactly how long you need to do that. And then you put it on top of the saute on your plate, slice down the middle to let that yolk spill everywhere. And there you have it, a sunny side up egg ready to cut. This is going to be magical. Boom. Tune in next time. We're going to be making glugfein or glug or mold wine or all of the above. It's going to be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ha! I only got one take for that. <laughs> Perfect.